Let's make chocolate strawberry cheesecake pasta. Add some strawberries Ooh. to a baking dish. Sprinkle pasta? Liberally with sugar. Add a I ain't never seen this at Godiva. Salt and stir to this must Bring be an Italian delicacy or something. Then place a block of cream cheese in the center and sprinkle That look kind of good though. Again. Then bake Ooh. in 400 degree oven. God, that looks amazing. Once it comes out, stir it all up to I'm gonna need to make At this. At this point, you can taste the strawberries to see if you need to add any more sugar. Oh then God, add some chopped looks... semi This reminds me of the cream savers that they used to sell, the strawberries and cream. Next, mm -hmm. we are going to add our chocolate pasta that we made the other day. The chocolate who? It's absolutely oh. stunning. <laughs> Make sure you Is reserve some of the starchy, chocolatey pasta water and add however much of that starchy pasta water you need and take that. How do you do that? How do you make chocolate milk, pasta? Fresh strawberries. Definitely a full on dessert pasta. Well, would you try it? I'm actually not bad at it. I want to try it. Carter, we about to make this, okay? All right, now I said I wanted to make this recipe and that's exactly what I'm gonna do. So we about to get into it and first I'm gonna make this strawberry mixture, okay? With this cheesecake concoction. Now I already got my strawberries over here that have been cut up. Now one thing that she did not mention that I saw her do in the video is she put olive oil on them strawberries. But she didn't say that when she was talking about it. So I'm gonna put olive oil on my strawberries, just like that. Then she said, put a whole bunch of sugar on it. Oh, that is the flour, let's not do that. Okay, let me get my sugar. Put a handsome amount of sugar on it. I love a good strawberry with some sugar on it. You put it in the refrigerator and let it crystallize and caramelize. And then we're gonna put our vanilla extract on here. She ain't getting no measurements. They never do in them videos. They just tell you what to do and don't give you no measurements. How you supposed to know what to, how much to put in there? You don't, you don't. Great, now we got that in there and now we're gonna put some salt. I got some kosher salt right here. That's what we're gonna put, we're gonna put a little, just put a little, and we're gonna stir this on out, just like this. All right, we got our coated strawberries. Then we're gonna dump this over here in our little casserole dish, or baked pan, whatever it's called. And we gotta leave a little space in the center for the cream cheese, just like she did on her video. Let me turn on my oven. Okay, we're gonna preheat that. Then we're gonna take our cream cheese. See, it's real easy, y'all, it's real easy. Ugh. This must be made by the same people that make Velveeta because the way they open this package is exactly the same. Ooh, I'm gonna make some Rotel tonight. That sounds good. That sounds real good. I'm gonna make some Rotel. Okay, with some cheese. Now you gotta put sugar on top of it. They love the sugar, baby. This gonna give you a good old cavity. Here we go, sugar all on top, boom. That feels like enough sugar to me. And then we are gonna throw this in the oven. It's gonna bake for 40 to 45 minutes. There we go. Boom. Now while that is cooking, we're gonna go ahead and make our dough. I think we need two cups of flour. Yep, that's right. Here we go, two cups of flour. We need three-fourths cups of unsweetened cocoa powder. Is this unsweetened? Yeah, it is, okay. One, two, three. There we go, three-fourths of cocoa powder. Carter over here standing next to my feet because he be waiting for me to drop food. But guess what? I'm not gonna do that today. Why? Because I'm a professional. Oh yeah, half teaspoon of salt, and this is the kosher salt. So we're gonna take the salt, boom. Whisk this together, they said sift, but I don't have a sifter. So this is the best we are gonna get. Then we are gonna bring the mixer over here. We are gonna just bring this down. We are gonna do four eggs up in here. One, I need to learn how to crack an egg. Two, three, shh, I'm taping. And four, now we are gonna start mixing. Go ahead. It's looking good so far, y'all. Okay, it's not looking too doughy yet. Okay, I'm gonna add another egg. <laughs> All right, there we go. Okay, now that's starting to look like dough. That's starting to look like dough. Okay, there we go, there we go, there we go. Think that was about five eggs. Recipe said use three, but the dough said otherwise. <laughs> so now I need to put some flour, and we gonna need the dough. Okay. All right, there we go. See, now I ain't never needed no dough. Look at our dough! We did it! See, this is why they need to give me a cooking show. I'll just be making it happen up in here. We need to put this in a ball, and then we're gonna wrap it in plastic wrap. My dough a little lumpy dumpy. It's got little cracks in it, but I think that's okay. And we're gonna wrap this up. There we go. And then we're gonna put this in the refrigerator and let it sit for 30 minutes. And in the meantime, I'm gonna clean up, and then we're gonna come back, and then we're gonna have our strawberries done and ready, and then we're gonna be ready to make our pasta. Yep. That's what we are gonna do. Oh no, it died. Shoot. All right, I'm ready to take out my dough. It's been resting for 30 minutes. 
Let's see how it looks. There it is, beautiful, beautiful. So divide the dough into four equal portions. Like Play-Doh, cover to prevent drying. Lightly flour each portion and roll into a rectangular shape. Put that there, I think that makes sense, okay. I don't know if that's what they meant when they said lightly, but that's what we're giving them. Oh, maybe this ain't flat enough. I don't know if this is flat enough. Okay, now we're gonna put this through here. Great. Now put it through the fettuccine noodle cutter part. Then we're gonna come, come over here to the fettuccine. Oh, there we go. Oh, it's cutting something. Let me get a bowl, y'all. Oh, Jesus. Oh, wrong, wrong hole. See, this is why God didn't make me Italian, because ain't nobody got time for all this. There we go. All right. <laughs> it's something. It's something. Hmm. Interesting. Did I do something wrong? All right, let me turn the water on. But in the meantime, I lay out my fettuccine. See, she didn't put this part in her video because she knew this part was hard. How, girl, how supposed to know how to do this? Okay, we got our little fettuccine noodles. I'm a little concerned on what this gonna taste like. I'm not a huge chocolate eater, so that's my first concern. That's gonna be too chocolatey. I don't think dogs can have chocolate. Cardi, you need to stay away. Stay over there. Okay, it's doing something. I think we can stop putting them in. <laughs> the water turning white. Okay. They look like noodles. I'm impressed. Might as well call me Chef Boy ID, baby. Am I supposed to eat this? We're gonna strain the pasta into here. Yeah, there you go. That looks terrible. Oh, this is ready though. Okay, so now we can mix this stuff. All right now. We're gonna mix it up. Just like she did. Ooh, it smell good. Now, I ain't never seen nothing like this before. Now she said this is when you taste the, the um, strawberries to make sure they're sweet, but I'm not gonna do that right now. I only want to have to put this in my mouth one time today. And then we got to put in our uh, chocolate, add in the chocolate pieces. Then we mix this and then the heat will melt our chocolate. All right now, it's giving chocolatey strawberry. This be probably real good with a Kit Kat. There we go, it's looking like the video. Now we're going to add some pasta water so that ooh, it becomes more of a sauce. That's enough. Mm -mm. I'm regretting this. It didn't look that bad when I looked at the video, but now that I done made it, I can't eat this. I can't eat this. Why, Lord, why? I'm gonna put my noodles, in. put my noodles in first. Ah! That's too many noodles. Too many noodles, too many noodles, too many noodles, too many noodles. Ah, they slimy. Okay, and then I put the sauce on top. And now I gotta dice this up and put these on top. I wouldn't feed this to my worst enemy. If I'm being completely honest, I think this is gonna taste a nasty mess. The noodles are gooey. The sauce just look like a cavity waiting to happen. The only appetizer part of this is the diced strawberry. I guess I have to try this now. Make sure I get a noodle. Cut that noodle in half. Ooh, that's too big still. Okay, I want an itty bitty noodle. Carter, stop. There ain't no way in hell she thought that was good. I don't care how you prepared this, that was terrible. Oh, that's nasty. First of all, these noodles just taste like straight up dough. The cocoa powder that we put in there was unsweetened, so that don't really make sense to me. We probably should've put some sugar in there. The sauce itself is just not giving what it's supposed to give. Let me see if I just taste the sauce by itself. Cause see, this part don't seem too bad. Nope, still nasty. Out of all the recipes we done made here on Aunt Kaylin, I can tell you right now, this is getting a negative five. Okay, this is worse than the potato salad cake. I've never tasted something so disgusting in my life. 
Oh, no, ma'am. Lies. I can't even get the taste out of my mouth. Who baked this? Whose idea was this? Where'd she find this at? Well, there it is, folks. I saw it and I made it and it was terrible. And that's all that I got for y'all today. Do not make this at home, okay? Mm -mm. Not safe for work, not safe for your kids, not safe for your baby mamas. No, keep it to yourself, okay? Anyway, happy Saturday, everybody. I'm Kaylin Allen and you know, I'm just happy to be here. Not today though.